Okay, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and understand how to graph lines in about 10 minutes. And we're going to focus in on lines, and these are technically called linear equations. If you look at that word, let me actually just uh, write that out here. Linear equations. This is a fancy algebra word. But if you kind of look at the, the root word here, it's line equation. Okay, so equation of a line. And... In algebra, basic algebra, like I'm probably we're talking about like pre-algebra, algebra one, even algebra two, most lines generally going to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. So I'm, we're going to focus on how to um, graph lines in this form. Uh, and if you get this down, then you're going to be able to graph the majority of lines. Now there's other techniques to graph lines which um, you need to learn, and I'll cover those in uh, other videos. But let's get this one down. So let me give you some example problems, and we'll work through each one step by step. So an example problem would be, for example, um, graph y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. Okay, so if you notice here, this is an equation, okay, it has a y and an x in it. And it follows the general format of y equals mx plus b. So let's talk a little bit about this equation, this y equals mx plus b. And we'll talk about our first example. We'll do a couple more examples, and um, you'll be good to go. All right, so the m, okay, if you notice, we have an m in front of this x. The m stands for the slope, okay? So if you, right here in this equation, this for our first example, Two-thirds is in the spot where the M's at. So this is the slope of the line, okay? And then we have a B variable, and in this particular example, the 4 is where the B's at. So basically, it's Y equals some number in front of X, okay, which we call M. In this case, it's two-thirds, plus another number. And it could actually be plus or sub uh, or minus another number, okay? In this case, it's 4. So if you notice, this line here, this linear equation, follows this format. So when um, you're looking at a linear equation or an equation of a line, okay, then we can actually graph it pretty easy, okay? Now, so let's go ahead and just um, work through some problems, uh, put a little variety in them. You know, we'll do a few different types, and this doesn't have to be all that difficult. Okay, so what's the first step we do? Well, let me just back up and say this. In order to graph a line, right, I want to put some sort of line on my graph or, or graph it. You can see here I'm going to have graph paper already kind of set up in my video. You need two points. So I need like a point here, and I would need one other point that's on that line. And I'd be like, okay, these two points are on the line, so therefore I can draw or sketch the line, right? Because the line would go through those two points, and then you have the graph of that line. So that's what we're going to be doing here. The whole idea of graphing a line using the y equals mx plus b format, it's really easy. The b number is our first point, okay, that we're going to plot. You know, for example, it may be like right here, and that's not there, but I'm just, you kind of get the idea, right? So we'll have one point, and then the M number gets us to our second point, all right? So let's say that's like right there. So once we have two points, then we can graph the line, all right? So we just need two points, and these two values will get us there. All right, so let's start off with the first point, and that's the B value. This is really, really simple, Okay. So let's look at this. In this example, it's four. The B value is what we call the y-intercept. And all that means is where the line is going to intersect the y-axis. So this is the y-axis right here. So this particular line will chop through or intersect the y-axis at four. So you just basically count from zero up to four. And I'm assuming you have basic knowledge of the coordinate plane. If you don't, then you'll want to review that for this video. But this line is going to cross the y-axis at a positive 4. So we just go up to uh, positive 4 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is our first point. Very simple. And like I said, this does not have to be overly complex. So we got one point that's on the line. And uh, now we need that second point that we can graph the line. So this is where students 
tend to get confused. Okay, now let's talk about the slope. Now the slope of the line here is two thirds. All right, I'm going to write this over here, two thirds, and I want you to kind of remember the following. Okay, the slope of a line when we plot it using y equals mx plus b, you, you're, it's either going to go up and to the right or down and to the right. Okay. If the slope is a positive number, we're going to count up and to the right. So in this case, two-thirds is positive. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be counting here in a second. Okay? If, for example, this was a negative two-thirds, I would be going down and to the right, but always to the right. You're, we're, going to be, we're going to be counting always to the right. And if the, if the slope is positive, the m value is positive, we're going to go up. If it's negative, we're going to go down. And we'll look at another example here in a second with a negative uh, value. Matter of fact, we'll do the same one, kind of tweak it up a little bit. Okay, so now what do I do? Okay, now like how do I, you know, uh, manage this number? Now I'm not going to try to overly explain this in terms of getting into the slope too, uh, in too, much, uh, too much detail right now because that's the purpose of this video. I just want you to be able to graph the line. So here's what you're going to do. This top number two is how much we go up. So we're going to count up two, and this number here, the bottom number, okay, the denominator, is how much we go to the right. So the slope, this, this slope here, this two thirds, is kind of like a driving directions uh, to our second point. You're going to go up two and to the right three. Okay. If it was negative, we would go down two. Okay and to the right three, okay, in this direction, a negative direction. So here's how we do this, okay, starting from the y-intercept, okay, we're going to go ahead and count up to and to the right three, because this is a positive slope. So from here, we're going to go up to one, two, all right, you can see I just went up two, and now I'm going to uh, go right three, one, two, three, and that is where my second point's at, okay, so I went up two here, all right, and I went right three. That's all I did. And then all I do is just draw my line through these two points, and I'm done. Okay, I'm just kind of sketching it here, but you get the idea. So this line has the equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. This is the linear equation to this line, okay? That's why... Um, you know, when you have a line in y equals mx plus b form, it's so easy to, to graph. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, some other examples here. All right, let me erase this, and let's, let's go over here. All right, let's actually, as a matter of fact, I'll give you a ch uh, chance to see if you can actually figure it out, okay? So let's, um, let's use this same example. Let's change this up a little bit. And we'll make it y equals, um, let's do it this way, negative 2 thirds x minus, oh, let's say 5, okay? So y equals negative 2 thirds uh, x minus 5. So can you graph that? All right, so maybe you want to pause the video and give it a shot. Okay, so let's take a look at what we do. Remember, the first thing is we look at the B value. In this case, it's negative 5. We start here, and we count on the Y axis on this, uh, to, this num to this value, okay, to this number. So on the Y axis, the negatives are this way. Okay, so I have to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's my first point. Very simple, okay? That's on a line. Now... Now from there, I got to take a look at my slope. Now this is a negative slope, so that therefore it's going to go down and to the right, okay? But down how how many? Well, the top number tells you how much it's up or down. The bottom number is always um, to your right, so it's going to we're going to count down two and to the right three. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll give ourselves a little bit more room. So one, two, and then to the right three. One, two, three. And that is our second coordinate for this line. And then we just go ahead and draw our line through it like so. And that is it. Okay. That's how you graph lines is using y equals mx plus b. Now let's take a look at a, another example. I'm not going to actually graph it, but let's take a look at something like this. y equals uh, 3x plus 7. 
Well, you might be saying, okay, well, this is seven. I know I can count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my first point. But you might be a little confused about that slope. You're like, well, three, What? I, I don't see the fraction there. Remember, if you have a, a, a whole number, just put it over one, three over one. Okay, now you can see um, the slope clearly. Okay, so what am I going to do here? This is going to be up three over one up three over one. Remember, when it's positive, it's going to be up and to the right. When it's negative, it's down and to the right. So from here, I would count up three, one, one, two, three, and then over one. So that is my second point for this particular line, and then I could just sketch it right there, okay? All right, so that's pretty much it. You don't have to overly, uh, you know, uh, uh, make this topic, you know, overly complex. It's not that not that complex, really, if you just understand how the slope, really, that's where the students get uh, uh, most confused is dealing with the slope. But this is really basic algebra stuff. You definitely got to know how to do this. And I'll do more videos on how to graph uh, using a table or intercepts, which you have to know as well. But I would definitely say out of all the um, uh, forms in algebra that you're going to have to uh, graph lines with, this is by far the most common. So if this video helped you out, you know, please subscribe, maybe give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. You know, give me some feedback. I always try to do a lot of uh, free math video stuff. Just very briefly, my um, backgrounds, I'm a math teacher, top sixth grade through college, have many, many, many years of experience. So what you're getting in this video is uh, a lot of experience for me saying, hey, and I'm telling you, lots of students confuse this, so I try to teach it in the simplest way possible. But anyways, thanks for watching, watching, and I wish you all the best. Take care.